And here we go. We are live with Operation Freedom Fjord Part 1. Russian forces continuously pushing west here, right out of spawn, or right out of the, uh, the gate, rather, I should say. Nice general comm check there for U.S. forces. Indeed. It's the first time I've heard uh, Fulcrum squad lead for a little while. I'm sure he's done it, but it's the first time he's been on a uh, in an operation that he's squad led. U.S. forces taking a uh, eastern detour here. They're going to spread out before they proceed south. U.S. forces just moving north right now. They are starting really close, and you have to wonder what are the odds these guys get spotted in the open. They're pretty large. U.S. forces, most of them, one squad's in a tree line, the other one's moving in the open. Only the trees are pers potentially obstructing them, but Viper and the Muff Bandit seem to be the most southern forces here. Right, I've got eyes on the, uh, top of the valley east. I don't see any movement. Assume they've taken a lower position. <laughs> Blackbeard ruling out the uh, Golf 11 location just by visual inspection. Although there is a squad at Golf 10. Yeah, that's good. Bartok, keep going. So. That's just simply. Uh, that's just simply common sense. Russia's really spread out here. They, matter of fact, they got. An right, entire squad off guys, the point, uh, west a bit. now in Hotel 11, and move. they're still moving south. They're getting on top of that hillside. The, um, we'll try to keep a bit of space the valley, they're going to try to get higher up in the valley, so maybe they can try to, uh, sweep behind. We got contact southeast of me on the rocks, it's looking like the Fox 9. And, I believe that's, oh, yeah, Muff's dead. So, that's bad. Yeah, that's a confirmed casualty there. U.S. with a kill. Viper's here by himself now. The guy we killed was pretty much on top of y'all, just to your south. The rock to your south, southwest. Oh, yeah, and guess what? That's because they weren't checking to their west. Look at this. The entire U.S. squad is just like on the perch of a... They got, it looks like an entire fire team here on the perch of a rock, so... And Viper's not even checking west. Coming from our north. Ooh, Efink gets killed. Hawk and Ibanaz, probably the reception, probably the responsible for that. Lima Bean and Snowfall too. And the north, the southern U.S. squads have found enemy combatants close to them. Looking at the uh, the shoreline force pushing up, they see sandbags from here, so that's got to be a pretty good sign that uh, enemies are close and enemies are fortified. The Fox Nine location it's trading some casualties on both sides now. Two kills for Russia, one kill for U.S. And Dorf's gonna fall back here, pull his fire team back. It's probably a good call, especially because they want some numbers before they do anything. Russian forces west. They've spread out a lot. One of them got hurt, but I wonder where that's from. U.S. forces still moving. They're still about three to 400 meters away. More than that with this elevation change. Matter of fact, they even have AR. I think they... I just saw a... Uh, okay, lads. So how much confirmed contact on that east side of the valley? Okay, I thought they had someone uh, deployed here trying to fire in, but you can see the Russian observation post is really within eye shot, from, is really within sight from here. You can barely tell, but there are sandbags over there too, so you gotta imagine 
Everything's gonna shift very carefully here for U.S. Everything's gotta shift carefully. And U.S. forces are fired in a range. They got themselves a uh, natural HESCO involved in, and there's a kill there. Russians are having to crawl back. That's part of SLOT Squad. And that squad lead trying to get eyes on. Look at this. Look at this position. They didn't have to build this at all. They just showed up and it was here. And more shots being added on. Gaming Mega gets hit from range. Wow, it looks like Sloth, Ice Bear, and Screw have uh, found some cover. Gaming Mango is trying to move back. And he finished... No, he's still bleeding. It looks like he's still bleeding. Is he, he can't be out of bandages already. I wonder if he knows he's still bleeding. Oh, Sloth gets destroyed in range by an AR. That's bad. That's a chain. That's a link of the chain of command gone already. So, how's your approach on to objective proper? It's all uphill. I think we can sneak up on them once I get a base. And US have thrown a squad out to the east. They had an AR up there dialed in on us. Copy that. You want to approach They have a squad north uh, squad north of the hill and a squad east of the hill and this eastern side is of is really uphill. The Sultz uh, assessment of the situation is Pretty spot down. on here. Got a Sethers here in the east with a squad at full strength. Looks like the Salt's got a squad that's a little bit weakened, but it's still. They don't know that there's only a squad on the point right now. Ooh, nuclear twister gets shot at. Looks like Bag of Joe and Viper. Viper gets back to the hilltop and uh, able to throw some shots that way. And Sether's taking some shots back, I think, at Viper. Viper has to hide behind some sandbags. Bag of Joe hits Vlad and Patine. Vlad's still crawling around. Now he's hit commies. What was that? Was that some sort of explosion? Smoke. Whoa. Smoke mortars? Are those real? They look like smoke mortars. The soul gets hit here. Hawk is dead. Sandbags everywhere, sandbags everywhere. Oh Are these my like... god. Come here, come here. Oh. Turn face. I'm not gonna tell you how close it was. Dude, there's a dead guy right here. I shot him in the face. I know, I know. Close there's up. somebody 255. Yeah, 255. I need to get a f this fucking ammo box down. You're up, you're Yeah, good. that's uh, Lima Bean and uh, Snowfall. Real close. Lima Bean's trying to figure out where the rest of these guys are, Charlie, and, uh... Rest. Bravo, you're still watching South. Charlie's way down the hill. Oh, man. U.S. forces maneuvering north. One squad is, anyway. The other one's still in the prepared position. They're taking some shots from Scroob here. Scroob's got some pretty close shots. Looks like he's just throwing... He's just throwing rounds at what he sees as our tracers, and a lot of our tracer comes back at him. No Nothing hitting him, though. The goon gets hit by some rounds. He's got a bandage. Groot is... throwing some rounds in a questionable location. Uh, Russian, force, Russian forces, the squad that was... Running south right out live is now going to cut around to the backside of U.S. forces. I don't think they've been spotted at all. Uh, 
Oh no, the command U.S. command have been talking about these guys, but they don't have a real fix on where they are. Fox 11 was the last call. They're all the way in to Delta. So, are U.S. forces going to keep rear guard here? It looks like, yeah, maybe. Gerwolf and Searchest looking... No, they're still looking down the valley. If U.S. forces aren't careful here, they're going to lose a... F they're going to lose a buddy team plus. Meanwhile, more fighting taking place on the objective. More smoke. And I swear I heard another mortar go down. Am I just hearing things? Supposedly, there's no, um... What is that? Lada Patine is hit on the push up here. Sether's squad lead is pushing up pretty strong here. Throws a frag out. Maybe that's going to be on the other side of the sandbag. Yeah, that kills Bag of Joe. Russian forces trying to push back up to the hill here. Aethel squad running all the way around, trying to get behind U.S. forces that are assaulting the hill. Eight kills for U.S., seven kills for Russia. So this is still pretty close. A grenade or something kills most generic. The U.S. forces clearing the hill. Clay J in assault trade. Imanaz might have been able to uh, get assault back. And Imanaz is dead now with Sethers taking him out from behind. U.S. take the hill. Russian forces is still pretty close here. Phoenix is on the, uh... Phoenix, this is Russia Command. He's, uh... What is he gonna do? Russians are really close here. There's a entire squad of Russians under Ethel's command He's trying to push up the hill. And the U.S. aren't really that far away. 20 meters tops. 20 to 30 meters tops between uh, Zaki and Ronan here, and Ronan's got himself a, uh... And I wonder if... Oh, uh, engineer... Hey, blow that fucking radio! Blow that engineer? fucking radio! I'm going to get an engineer now! Yeah, I'm putting it on now. Opposite side of the sandbag! Opposite side of the sandbag! West, west, west. And the charge goes down charge on the radio. radio. Get out of the way area. So U.S. gets an engineer. Ooh, Phoenix gets hit by a Ronin there, and it looks like Ronin got hit from the side. Or, he got uh, hit by a grenade. Copy. With an explosive charge on the radio, I wonder how much damage it's gonna do, if it's just gonna outright kill. Yeah, it's gone. So, Russians lose. On me, on me! Wait four to reinforce four. Vlad flank is out. And Ronan has a hat kit. What is going on? Did I read the same document that everyone else read? Ronan grabs himself Ice Bear. And Phoenix looks like he's got a squad. They're maneuvering a little bit to the east. Phoenix goes down to Ronan. Ronan runs out of ammo in his clip. Gaming Mago tries to look up. A grenade comes out. I didn't see it land. It lands close, but not close enough. Gaming Mango and Ronan trade there at the end. Russians trying to nade up. Nate's coming down the hill too. Nate's are flying both ways here. Three yeah, Chicken and Athel here. They're uh, making an assault on the hilltop. They're gonna find that their uh, their radio's gone. U.S. forces pretty low here on the hilltop. Sethers looks like he decapitates. Music and the hard that are pushing up. I don't get shot. Looks like he's dead. Sethers gets wounded. Stalker throws a grenade. Looks like maybe too far. Doesn't get Sethers. 
coming to you. When the radio blows up, I mean, U.S. have to hold the position. So it's up to the U.S. to hold the position now. The Russians have to come back and clear the position of U.S. force of U.S. forces. And Mark and Stalker are gonna throw down the ammo bag. They're gonna grab some grenades. Grenade fra grenade frag rush part two. Sether's trying to run away. Uh, ooh, that one might have been. No, that one got overthrown. It looked like it was online, but uh, maybe not. Sether's looking around for targets. Another grenade gets primed in the distance. Another couple. Ooh, Zaki walks up and Sether's hears him walking, turns and shoots him in the face. Russian chain of command is still intact for the most part, even though their command is down. Most of their squad leaders are still up, so I imagine they still have command. They have communications. Lots of grenades. Stalker gets one grenade to hit Sethers. So, oh, head, so Headbust is a medic, and Sethers has uh, no more bandages. So Sethers might bleed out if Headbust can't get over there, but Stalker's not going to push it. I wonder if hearing the bandage is going to cause Stalker to come out. He may not be in range. He might be looking for everyone else. Peek. Hey, get in a weird position. Don't get in the Revy, Revy. Revy, very simple. I need you to clear this fucking hill. Let's take a look at what's happening on the rest of the map. Lots of U.S. dying here as they're trying to push up to uh, the Russians that are occupying the side of the hill. Revy, Shafty, and Money Man. Um... May have only taken out one here, but Liberal Pundit's turned around. Scroob is trying to catch up to Liberal Pundit. Fulcrum, our squad lead is dead, hammered Hebrew as well. I think he was a fire team leader, so. Taking a look at the rest of the map. Russian forces have really split into the side of U.S. forces. The squad that's running down the hill is still being chased by about a fire team element there in the west, there in the uh, west rather. And a buddy team is headed up the riverside. Lex, Ryan, and Flicker are running back to the objective point. They're still looking for some action here. The U.S. are still holding the hill. Although, is Chicken, Chicken and Stalker make it to the top of the hill? Sethers push past? Somehow. Uh, Sethers, I think... Is looking behind him. Stalker looking back down the hill from where he just came from. They just traded positions. What is with that? Sethers is on the top of the hill, and Headbuster was right alongside with him. And Stalker gets a buddy and trades position with him. Silas kills Chicken, so Stalker's by himself now. Ethel dies. Uh, Lex Ryan and Flicker go all the way around the side and they start engaging U.S. forces here. Modern Death gets Lex Ryan as he pushes up here. Oh, Modern Death dies. And a Russian was right behind him too. And, uh, Stalker looks like he died, too. So, but... Russians, uh, trying to retake this hill here. Flicker, the last one to die on this, uh, southeast push. 32 kills for U.S., 24 kills for Russia, so... Rush, that turned around real quick. I feel like that turned around really quick. No. About a squad size element for U.S. now re now pushing the hill, securing the hill. Looks like the only Russians that are alive now are off the point, way to the uh, west. How, how sporadic is that contact on the point? Uh, I just lost where they were. There they are. It's a fire team size element of Razor, Silent, Fight Milk, and Alpha Guido. In your estimation, how many guys do you reckon are trying to attack you? And Silent running up on Quick Scratch and Oddball here, getting pretty close. Quick scratch turned around behind. Ooh, and Silent gets dropped in the face before he has a chance to shoot back. And Quick Scratch gonna add a grenade. 
And a second grenade, anyway. Razor, Fight Milk, and Alpha Guido are gonna push down the hill to the northeast. That's a turnaround for sure. I didn't just, I, it's just hard to keep up with all the different angles going on in the fight right now. But the Russians looks like the Russian idea to push around behind wasn't as strong because the US just, instead of turning around to engage, they just had too many forces move forward. Russians didn't have enough troops on the point. And it ended up um, costing them the hill defense. So now the Russians have to reattack a hill that's going to have a squad and a half of U.S. just chilling. A rough round as uh, Russia loses out. Oh, that's weird. I don't think... Uh, did I miss something? Because... I didn't believe that the uh, Could I get a on what the U.S. had like other kits. Yeah, they don't. Russia only has ARs. U.S. Okay, only have a has ARs really and medics. So I. It's weird. Okay. I saw engineers for U.S. I saw a hat unit for some reason. Weird. I've just been uh, told we do have to hold the point, so uh, fuck it, we're staying on the point. This is a multi-part operation, but I was also told it wasn't going to be super campaign-y weird, so you never know. I can't account Maybe things changed, and I don't know. I'm not commanding, I'm not squad lead, I'm not in the loop, so... Cool. Russian forces, the remaining Russian forces pushing up here. Silas has parked himself next to a uh, a lodgy, but I don't think Silas has eyes on. Razor and Fight Milk really pushing up here. Alpha Guido also leading the charge. And it looks like he's coming up on some U.S. forces. The last of the Russians. What do you mean when the commentator doesn't read the off doc? Oh, good lord. They could, be trying, they could be trying to flank north. Four, what do you see? <sighs> I didn't see that. I have a not like it's right, not like it means away. anything. The only thing that means anything with the changes are the engineers. Grenade. Russian grenades. Alpha Guido gets shot in the side. He gave up? What side is that? What side? Fight Milk and Razor. Razor throws a smoke. It's just I guess it's a distraction away. smoke. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Gets past yeah. U.S. forces that are supposed to be watching the hillside. <laughs> Hillbesta shoots Razor in the back. Now it's just down to fight milk. Stop Last up. Russian. Reloads. And Headbuster might sneak up behind him if uh, Fight Milk wants to shoot again, but Silas is moving around here. Fight Milk moving this direction. I think Silas might see him. Yep. Shots traded. And Fight Milk's dead, so I believe that's the last Russian. That's GG for round one. Okay, great. Uh, nice work last round. Uh, during the reg event. For, I don't know. Uh, yeah, thanks for doing, doing your The doing reg event jobs. was on a different layer. Early. That sucks. That um, may have also have right, something to do with it. But uh, anyway, we're going to listen to the Russian briefing here. All right. Um, we've been sent in before uh, the forward elements of the Russian army, before the special forces, with the guys who go in before them, right? And we've just been told that uh, the U.S. are pushing down this valley, looking to disable our communications equipment. Uh, that's not going to happen. Uh, we Two minutes to live. Location. As you can probably see if you open up your maps, uh, stone's throw from the uh, possible, the last sighting of the U.S. military. So we're going to expect contact pretty fucking sharpish. Uh, it's not a very complicated plan. Uh, Southern's Fulcrum are going to be playing, uh, playing on the castle itself. Uh, they're going to send fire teams out direct south of us into the hills and to the west. 
uh, and then defending the point proper. We want to try and keep this as much of an uphill fight as possible. So try and keep him in the west and ideally in the north. Do not let him get around to the east or the south. If they're in the east and the south, then this suddenly becomes an uphill fight for us, and that's going to fucking suck. So don't let him do that. Um, the other two squads that I have mentioned, Assault and Oddball, uh, Assault will be moving north, uh, screening uh, any, pot uh, any potential movement uh, from either the coast or along flank, trying to stop people getting around our side. And uh, Oddball will be doing a sort of similar role uh, in the west. Uh, they'll go and set up where they were last time around those, uh, around those trenches. They'll try and observe back onto the hill, see what they see try and stop anybody moving or maneuvering around to the west and then when they hard commit for the point they charge in like the fucking cavalry and and uh fuck them up um ROE is pretty simple just keep them the fuck away from this radio so you know if it's uh pertinent for you to or if it's um if it makes sense for you to engage at a long distance if you think you can get a couple of them down at, at that point then by all means do uh we're gonna play a bit loosey-goosey listen to your SLs. it's all gonna go well uh, any questions? Good stuff. Great. Like Highlander, there can only be one uh, victor here, and uh, it better be me. So uh, good luck. Have fun, boys. Bring it home. Let's go. 25 seconds for live. And we are live right now. U.S. forces moving out with the Russians really close. It'll just be... I wonder how uh, the Russians are going to react to seeing these guys move at first. U.S. forces just getting into the uh, tree line as soon as possible. Pretty standard. Scorpo is such a, such a beautiful map. And it is really big. I mean, just take a look at this thing. It's a nice little mountain adventure. It's like... Realistically, it's like three by four kilometers. Nice hike, that's all it is. If I'm just estimating. I wish we could have a camp for fire. Yeah, I mean, it's nuts. There's so much. There's so much to do. There's so many little small places to engage in this map. Two and three, we're going for overwhelming force. It really is an awesome. It's really an awesome addition to the game. And I, I imagine we will be running many operations on this map. In the uh, in the months and years to come. Understood. All right, in the mountain pony. Operation Hannibal is a go. <laughs> what is that? Operation Hannibal? Did I hear that right? Pony, please confirm. Operation Hannibal is a go. What does that mean? Operation Hannibal. Sloth boy pony is AFK. I need you leading both squads. Uh, far southeast. You're right. Oh no. Is that real? Is this real life? Everyone else, four and one. I need you guys pushing. We're gonna rally on the rocky outcropping Echo 11. Oh my gosh, that's bad news. Actually, no, scratch last. We're still going to the, the fortifications up in the mountains northeast of us. U.S. forces, the U.S. Rangers that were deployed on the shoreline, they're, uh... Copy. They're just chilling on the road. There's no need to go off-road until they need to. Look at the goon. The goon has a Carl Gustav to, to deploy it. He's ready to fire that thing. Why? 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 Can't wait till we see a 10 by 10 invasion layer. Uh, let's let OWI worry about getting 100 people on the server first before we worry about, you know, 100 kilometers square of um, maps. One thing at a time, man. One thing at a time. Oh, Assault's on his uh, radio already, so I wonder what that means. All right, uh, squads that are with me, let's, let's take a look at the displacement of Russian forces. Russian forces, one squad north, one squad north west. One squad on the point, and one squad slightly off the point to the southwest. Looks like... Ooh. Uh, hello. There's contact. Oh, look at this. These guys are... So the Russians are engaging from the hillside. From the valley.
this is Vladdy Putin talking on Love Commies. And there are there are US soldiers wounded already. Looks like two US soldiers are already wounded. They're getting healed right now, but one of them this is bad news. That's really bad news for uh, for US forces. US forces firing back. Obviously tracers work both ways. So far, US off the mark. US someone gets hit. Look at this. This is nuts. Absolutely nuts. We look at the map, they're firing at a kilometer away. Effectively a kilometer away. Because they're about the same elevation too. Oh my god. Look at that guy. The guy is just existing to lean left and right at the same time. I want to hear what the comms are like. Just look at these tracers flying. What in the world is going on? This long range engagement didn't need to happen. <laughs> Two, maybe take forces you're with. Make sure they don't go any further south. That way they're not spotted on this, on this operation. Area. Okay, looks like we have uh, Roger, Russians pushing pretty far west here. The contact right, happening uh, between US Squad 4 right, and Russia Squad, squad 3 very soon. Getting comms on US that the radio is in Golf 11. It's not fault you hit, right? Is in contact. Uh, enemies close 100 meters right. east. They, came, uh, they saw us before we saw them. Engaging hundred two. Do you have a grid on that contact? You said 100 meters east. They're they're just one, east one of my squad. Oh, yeah. Uh, there we go. They've taken some pretty. Ooh, look! They're really close to the contact here. Look at this, look at this built-in, uh, sort of bunker complex here. This Hesco bunker complex. The dug-in trenches. Russians have withdrawn. Looks like just in time. Oh, I see one? Do I see one? No, no. Maybe two, maybe? No. Lawn darts has seen things. Let's see if we can see what's. Let's see if we can take a look at what Lawn darts has seen. Oh, look at Koopa. There's a whole bunch of them on top. What is Koopa doing? He's looking the wrong direction. Oh, yeah, all the way. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. Oh, they don't see. Oh, they see Simpai. Range is about 900. No. No, they're looking up the hill. Oh, if Koopa just looks right, Londarts gets shot in the face. With Londarts shooting up at the hill now, Koopa looks this direction. What is Koopa gonna do? Koopa's just gonna lay into Londarts right here in the face, right? Grenade. Quick scratch is hit. I think Russians are throwing grenades at the hill. No, thank you. What is going on? Oh, That's close. Yeah. AK's close. AK's close. AK's close. Yeah, Quick Scratch and Warrior 56 are shooting basically uphill. They were throwing frags. Here comes a frag from Lawn Darts. And a little short. Ooh, man. This bad news. Koopa could very easily lock this road down. Now that he's looking this direction, I wonder if he just saw... Oh, man. Koopa's looking right at Londarts right now. U.S. forces moving up the east side. Looks like they're pretty intact right now. Um... And then there's a Russian squad just sitting there. It looks like they're starting to move in behind the U.S. force in the east. We're going to go over there and check that out. Four of the guys in the mountain see you. Let's return fire on those guys. Copy. Returning fire on the guys that are shooting at you. A good idea, especially to click away. U.S. begin to climb the mountain. Make sure you guys are conserving ammo. Right now we are drawing aggro. One, two, and three. Contact east closed. 
Understood. One and four. Let's make sure we're maintaining as north and east. And Ethel reporting that uh, contact of the chain of command, realizing this guy's pretty close. Taking a look at U.S. forces. They're going to swing out. I guess they're going to maximize an eastern swing as much as they can before they actually have to start pushing up towards the objective. And This is a pretty steep grave. They're going to be running for a while. And that's uh, that's on Command Comps calling out the... Uh, meters away from the position. Alright, one and four, we have two squads there. Can we just stop out whatever's there? Yeah, I think we can push them. Let's take a look and see what's going up here in the Russian side of things. They're really laying in to the US forces at a range here. One engaging contact, call seas. We're down one guy. Oh, they were, and then they stopped. These guys are on top of the hill. These guys are living life right now, man. The only thing that they're ever going to come down off this hill for is if their radio gets taken. Oh. Uh, man, one air, one air and AR round into the face of one of these Russians, and that's it. That's a tremendous loss for these guys. Five casual, or five kills for US, two kills for Russia right now. So Russia is still uh, having some ground to cover. Oh, well, I say that. And it looks like someone, uh, this looks like someone just ate it down there. Maybe they've already eaten it. Bartok with his AR. Doing his best to try to uh, Command, I have eyes take some pot shots. The hill. Looks like he's trying to shoot a chicken. Uh, it's chicken in the harv. He's shooting a little high. He's landing about 20 meters behind him. Ooh, that was real close. The splash between... Looks like that's music back there, the Harv. Bartok's just toying with them. Oh, that run almost looked like it landed. He's just toying with them. Realistically, I mean, what's the what's the range on this? From here to... Okay, that might be about 700 meters. He's got Sethers right behind him, talking to one of the target. Ooh, someone died! Oh, maybe that's just Londart spectating. Or maybe Londart's died. Yikes, if so. Russian forces still holding everyone off. US forces have started to push up the side of the mountain here. And matter of fact, I think the the U.S. forces rather pushed up the side of the mountain. They're starting to get closer. Russians are scanning for them over here. I wonder if um, I wonder if these Russians have spotted them. Yeah, they have to. Who is most generic shooting at from here? Looks like he might be trying to take shots at Alpha Guido, or no, he's shooting at Groot, I guess. Oh, I got. Pushed by a camera. Whoever did that, please don't do that ever again. <laughs> yeah, Groot's getting shot at now. He hits. He gets hit in the leg. Serpentine pattern, kind of, sort of. Most generic. Maybe Headbust uh, contributed some shots now. Groot is still. Looks like he's meeting up with Liberal. I guess. Uh, the ranger squads have medics to spare, so maybe they're just, uh, 
trying to preserve bandages on their assault units. And this is uh, Vladimir Putin with Binox out. Switch into our rifle. Maybe he wants to take some shots here, too. I think Storm is crossing in the open. Storm running more of the east now. I think he got shot at. Yeah, rounds found in short. Ooh, one hit Storm! At this point, we're talking at about three to four hundred meters here. Alright, four, let's get aggressive. We need to stay east of the river. If we take contact, that's the place and I step away to flush him out. So, the U.S. forces are going to have to deal with pushing into a elevated Russian position. That's not good. They've made zero real progress moving towards the objective. Uh, Western U.S. forces now, if I heard command comms right, they're starting to get geared up for a push. See, Stalker and a Raptor force, part of a uh, fire team that's getting ready to move out east. The Russians that were attacking the uh, Eastern Force have pulled back. Four, were you being engaged from Gulf 11 and Gulf 10, or were they the guys on the original mountain in Gulf 12, way, way down there southeast? Yeah, I think guys on the original They have pulled back, but they haven't pulled all the way back to the objective. Senpai and Quick Scratch were part of that uh, advanced Russian force. And they're pushing back up the hill. We've been spotted, man. We've been spotted. Oh, a sloth boy Zero finally percent. reports that they've been spotted. Good to know. We're trying to get up this hill as quickly Are they going possible. up the... What? Let's make sure we're not dying in transit. It's better to hunker up and return fire than get shot while moving. Wait. Run. What? They want to get an elevated position so they can shoot these guys from below? Uh... Huh. Let's go a little bit up the hill here. Uh, who died there? Looks like that was, uh... The goon... Getting killed. Trying to climb- trying to scale the mountain. While under fire. Russians are just pinking at him, or just plinking shots. I mean... Okay, maybe they don't have visibility from here. Oh yeah, see, look at that. They got a little bit of a reprieve because of the way this thing juts out from the side of the, the mountain here. This is nuts. If it's not, they're missing. Watch this player. Watch this. Alright, we got flag ground. Let's run. Woohoo! Phoenix wants them to shift okay. south, so... Man, uh, I've lost two guys so far. Uh, we're keeping... We're still pushing up the mountain. There are Russians yeah, in pursuit of these guys going up the hill, and Torf has got Binox looking up at the... <laughs> There are two squads attempting to climb the hill right now. Oh my gosh. We skipped through ranges Keep and went moving, straight guys, to 10th Mountain. How are we this high up? Dude, 10th Mountain Not is where it's at. No. Dude, I, I swear there's gonna be, there's gotta be enemy infantry at least like one or two people oh good dude we're in the snow, snow just... now we've reached we're in the snow just keep your eyes this is here. fucking skyrim <laughs> jesus christ yo guys 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 <laughs> <laughs> we just skyrim climbed up a fucking mountain Three, they're not wrong coming, that assessment coming. is not incorrect they have skyrim climbed the fucking mountain holy shit i 100 percent agree with that assessment that is exactly what they have done. The team, the enemy team does not know we're here. Hmm, I don't know about that one. Get shot by a friend. I don't think the devs could have thought we'd be here. Alright. Are we pushing from here? The textures aren't even fucking load up here. Do you want us to keep pushing south? Oh wow, flat ground. 
I got some room. Is Blackbeard running up here too? Wait a second. We're gonna ignore the shooting that's going on then there between Dorf and uh, Alpha Guido's squad. We're gonna or Alpha Guido and them. Yeah, look at this. Blackbeard has a buddy team running behind him. Blackbeard has Nuclear Twister and Modern Death trying to cut a uh, a fire team plus size element off at the top of the mountain. This is absolutely ridiculous right now. There's still three squads worth of Russian troops uh, in and around the point. One of them is giving chase to going up the mountain. Assault and Efank. Oh, these guys are actually close. Best Pony has to stop his advance because Assault and Efank are actually now within about uh, 100 meters. They're pushing up the hill. Best Pony is still going up. He gets shot. He gets shot twice. He's going to bleed out. That's insane. Dorf shoots him in the back going up the hill. And he leaves a fire team behind on a uh, relatively level ground. Pop and smoke, pop and smoke. Your nightmare is shooting up the hill. Just try and make it like sit oh, near Oh, look this. at this. Dorf and Efank and Assault almost going to come around the same time. Dorf flickers to the side. Dorf goes tumbling down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> The ragdolls are coming down. Fight mode gets shot by Ethan. Demon is surviving by the only fact that he's uh, prone right now. But Ethan is going to bank a grenade off the side of the mountain. And it's going to wound Demon Einstein. And Assault is going to shoot Demon from the from up above the hill. Demon goes down and it's just Exubo. Um, Exubo taking some shots. No, in assault sees him and he gets he gets destroyed. Uh, where are dwarf's body? Dwarf and uh, where are the bodies that were rolling down the hill? The bodies that were on the hill rolled all the way down the hill. This is amazing. It's kind of actually the amazing. Uh, elsewhere on the map, U.S. forces, two squads of U.S. forces. Or the remaining of two squads of U.S. forces are pushing uh, west to east, closer to ground level, closer to sea level. And the Russians are shooting them in the, in the air. Uh, Quick Scratch, Kuba, Simpai are uh, part of a part of that advance force that was doing some shooting earlier. And I bet you Kuba's got uh, Imanas, Centurion, Snowfall, and some more here, a little bit doing a little bit of thinking about their approach seeing some smoke quick scratch is shooting him quick scratch I might have hit Zaki there and Aethel gets hit that's senpai shooting Aethel Zaki's took out a bunch of Bunch of shots here. Aethel having to report that he's got to slow down. And I think Kuba's starting to engage some. Kuba's got himself a uh, an AK pointing it towards Vader Centurion. I think he's actually hit Vader Centurion. The rest of that fire team continuing to push on. Chicken DC, so I think he just died. Russia just staying alive here. It's six kills for US, 16 kills for Russia. Russia doing some work from elevated position. Zaki bleeds out. Raptor Force is hit as well. Raptor's behind that uh, too, so I wonder who's actually shooting at him. He may be getting shot from the top of the hill again. Lots of smoke, so that could be the uh, hillside guys with their AR shooting on target. Looks like Muff's deployed to try to uh, add some suppression here. And Muff's getting shot at almost immediately, has to displace. 
Holy yeah, shit. Mr. Muffs is an AR, so. Oops. Alright, Alpha, we got the fuck out of uh, direct west of objective. Aethel's bleeding again. Aethel might bleed out. And Aethel goes down. One, let's turn that line southeast. Have all of the Morian southeast and start moving in that direction. So now it looks like Mr. Ooh, look at this suppression going on. Squad I think Mr. Buffs just got ricocheted by a bullet. <laughs> Fired from on top of the... Look at that. Look at this. This almost isn't fair. Bartok and Sethers just have this element pinned for their life right now. Take a look at the top of the mountain. Uh... Are U.S. forces still up here? Yeah, U.S. forces are still up here. The... <laughs> uh, Russian forces are turning back. Sloth and Scroob actually pushing up here. And they're in some defilator right now. Uh, Death Magnet might actually spot these guys. I think he does. Death Magnet taking some shots. Hammered Hebrew coming up over the hillside. Scroop gets hit. Scroop switches to, uh, start shooting at Sloth Boy. Or not, uh, Scroop, Death Magnet. Switching targets here. Sloth gets hit. Scroob is out in the open, but he manages to bandage. Sloth is over here just chilling. Bandaging. I think... I wonder what the view is from here. Scroob's dead. Slothboy uh, fires back a death magnet. And I don't think Hebrew has a great position, but I bet you he's got a better position looking up the hill. Here in a second he's going to realize more coming down the hill. Death magnet does, but magnet seems to hit Mark. Hammer switching targets. He's shooting at Alpha Guido. Oh! I think Groot just killed him. What a shot. Death, Death Magnet. One of the last ones up here on the hill. Oh, there's an AR. Money Man has almost found a steady position for his AR. There he goes. He found one. Kind of. Shooting at Mark. Mark gets hit twice. And he's still bleeding. He might bleed out here. He's trying to return. Ooh! Mark gets money, man! What a shot! And Mark bleeds out. What a trade. Oh, look at this. Silas and Efeik have made it to the top of the mountain. And they're gonna come down right behind Alpha Guido and Groot here. Matter of fact, Silas begins shooting. Oh my gosh! Trade! Alpha Guido goes down. But Silas whiffs about half a mag at Alpha Guido first. So Efink. Efink runs into a grenade! Oh, what a throw! Oh, Groot, what a throw. I wonder if he saw an, a head moving from right to left before he started moving out. He's bandaging, but he's not going to be bandaging for... He's not going to be healing for long unless Assault decides not to push this hill. Ooh. What's he going to do? Groot is going to go and make sure he's behind... Or behind him is clear. And then he's going to turn back around, right? And Assault... Looks like he's on the... What is he doing? Sorry, I'm... Dealing with this. Trying to get the camera... Oh, Groot's gonna... Sweep her alongside. I believe the event server is located... West Coast. Don't quote me on that. May actually be Chicago. 
I don't know. I get a Midwest ping out of it. Assault. Oh, I wonder if Assault is turned... Oh, yeah, I think Assault... Uh, does Assault see him? No, Assault's looking down the mountain from here. He's trying to clear his position. Groot is looking for more. And something tells me Assault's going to see Groot move into his field of view here very shortly. And Groot has command comms. Funny. So Groot's going to come on down. U.S. forces as a whole... Made a push in for the objective, but I don't think they really did anything. And Groot is going to get shot in the back here and in the side. Groot's not long for this world. Although, uh, I say that, but Assault got hit. No, yeah, Groot's dead. Rip. U.S. forces making a final push here on the objective, but not able to take the radio out. Looking like... Maybe like three or four U.S. soldiers left here near the objective. We're gonna try to get in here real quick. Another one goes down. Muff Bandit is pretty close to Headbuster. Headbuster had to heal. Oh yeah, there's a burst straight into Headbuster's face. Oh, look at that one tapping most generic there. Muff gets hit. And he's got hit twice. There goes Muff. Down to maybe Vladimir or Bartok coming down with that. Uh, let's see here. Who else is alive? Is that it? That can't be it. I don't see any more U.S. close to the objective right now. So it's just this buddy team of Music and Raptor Force. Vegas, I don't even know what that means. Oh, you need your Steam 64. You need to... We lost yeah. another MG, or uh, automatic rifleman. Any yeah. Steam ID lookup yeah. site will tell you which Steam 64 <laughs> it's, is. It's two versus the world. So, Raptor Force and Music pushing up the hill. These are the last guys for U.S. I gotta know it in my pocket. A big I turnaround. U.S. forces <laughs> were able... In the first round, U.S. forces had two squads, sure pushed them up. straight up to the objective. In round two, U.S. forces tried to uh, circle around the objective and get more... To try to get more squads uh, onto the point, attacking at one time, but it just didn't work out. It took too long. And then there was that maneuver going up the hill. It was weird. If I'm being honest. All day now. Was that shots down the hill at these guys? I'm going to throw a smoke uh, to your right. Make it seem like we're trying to push right. Just push left. Oh, Kuba's coming this way. Grenades coming down the hill. Raptor gets shot by Bartok. I guarantee you that was Bartok. Nope, maybe that was a Cardi. The second grenade hits music, but he's not bleeding. And he's being tracked, but Koopa's gonna come up right behind him. There we go. Koopa's got the face shot there on the end. And I believe that's the end of round two. Waiting for an admin to confirm. I believe that's all the US down. There it is. That is GG. Russians convincingly take round two.